giveaway if somebody can finally prove that they are smarter than a 10 year old. And let's meet my class, Cody, <laughs> McKenzie, Chandler is filling in for Olivia today. So welcome back to the classroom, Chandler. You guys ready to meet your new classmate? Yeah! All right, she is a 24-year-old Army Sergeant from New Hope, Minnesota. She attended Little Lake Elementary. Welcome, Rose Manny! Rose, how are you? when she attended Meadow Lake. I gotta say, when I read on the card that you're an Army Sergeant, I really didn't expect you to look like this. Thank you, thank you. And I know you, you brought some pictures with you to prove that that's I actually did, what you, know, you do. Can okay. we take a look at those real quick? Now, what are we seeing? Uh, that is me, I was working on a truck. And this is when you were in Iraq. You yes. did a tour of duty mm -hmm. in Iraq. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service to this country. Now, explain this one. Um, this is when I, I'm on the Arizona National Guard biathlon team, which is you cross-country ski and you shoot rifles. So you do a lap, and then you shoot, and then you do a lap, so. You work on trucks, uh -huh. you shoot. Yep. Will you marry me? <laughs> These guys are your brand new classmates. They're gonna be taking the same test that you're taking. Pick one of them and let's get started. Okay, let's see. Cody. Cody. Cody, come on up here. She doesn't look like an army sergeant, does she? It's pretty cool. But... I think it's very cool. Yeah. Did you have a nickname in the army? I do. It's uh, Ranger Barbie. Ranger Barbie. <laughs> well, I like that. Let me tell you how the test works okay. in this classroom. On the board, you're going to see 10 subjects. Once you ace this test, we're going to give you an additional question that will be worth $1 million. Okay? <laughs> now, the cool thing in here is at any point, you can take the money that you have acquired and you can leave us. One stipulation, before you leave, you have to look in that camera and tell the entire world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Do we have a deal? Yeah, I can handle that. I know I can I trust can the National that. Guard. All right. Let's find out, is Rose Maddie smarter than a fifth grader? We have a full board. Which one would you like to start with? I think we'll go with uh, first grade grammar, Jeff. First grade grammar, all right. For $1,000, the first grade question is this. How many nouns are in this question? How many nouns are in this question? I thought there was going to be another question, but that <laughs> is the question. Classmate Cody has locked in his answer. Well, a noun, I believe, is a person, place, or thing, but I don't see any of those. Is that a... This is my worst subject, too. I don't know why I picked this one. <laughs> um, I guess it'd be two nouns and questions. Okay. You also have a peek. You could look at his answer, see if you think that helps you. Mm -hmm. Or you could copy his answer. Now, he answered quickly. If, I did. If you had a guess and you're wrong and he's right, he could save you. Okay, I'm gonna go with a guess. I'm gonna go with um, two, two nouns, Jeff. Two. All right, well, if he has something different, maybe he could save you. Let's see what Cody said. Cody said... Two. 
So he can't save you. He doesn't need to. You got $1,000. The answer is two. And the nouns are nouns and questions. See, you didn't burn your save. Very good. Got a thousand bucks. Nine subjects left. Let's double it right now, Rose. All right, okay. all right. All right, um, First grade animal science. First grade yeah. animal science. You like that one, Cody? I'm an animal lover. He said he's an animal lover. Oh, good. All right, for $2,000, the first grade question is, true or false, horses can sleep standing up. True or false, horses can sleep standing up. Cody has locked in his answer. I know humans can sleep standing up because I've seen that happen in line at the post office before. <laughs> what about horses? You know, I think it's true, Jeff. I believe, I believe horses can. I think cows can. I think anything on four legs are stable enough to sleep standing up. So I'm going to go with true. Horses can sleep standing up. Horses can sleep standing up. You got $2,000. Thank you, Cody. Nice job, Cody. All right, time to pick another classmate, Rose. Go Sierra! Sierra, come on up here. Hey, Sierra, check this out. It says on here you have set a record by doing 96 push-ups in two minutes. That is correct. I could do 96 push-ups. It would just take me like a year or something like that. Like one every two or three days. What about you? I can watch her do it. You can watch her do it. I'll sit with you. All right. Eight subjects on the board. All right, Ranger Barbie, what do you think? Second grade art. All right. The second grade art question worth $5,000 is, true or false, if you mix equal parts of orange and red together, you'll make a tertiary color. True or false, if you mix equal parts of orange and red together, you'll make a tertiary color. Your classmate Sierra has already locked in her answer. True or false, 50-50 shot. True or false, if you mix equal parts of orange and red together, you'll make a, church, how do you say it again? Church? Tertiary. Tertiary color. Oh, I know the primary colors, there's red, blue, and green. Then secondary ones would be ones you make from those colors. I don't think orange is primary. But it's a secondary, because yellow is another one. I'm going to say true, because there's the primary, secondary, and then if you mix another one, you have the tertiary colors. True, Jeff. Woo! True, Rose, you got $5,000. Now, you did not get the primary colors correct, but you had a very good explanation. A tertiary color is when you mix a primary color, in this case red, and a secondary color, in this case orange, together you get a tertiary color. You also get a tertiary color if you mix together two secondary colors. Very good. We are down to seven subjects before we get to the million dollar question. This next one is worth $10,000. Pick a subject, Rose. Afraid of the second grade, are you? I'm gonna go third grade measurements. Third grade yeah. measurements, she said. <laughs> the third grade measurements question worth $10,000 is coming up right after this. Fifth 
trainer, our contestant, Rose Maddie, AKA Ranger Barbie, is a 24-year-old Army sergeant. You've got $5,000. We are about to play for 10. Rose, who do you have cheering you on here today? I have my boyfriend, Brent, who is also in the National Guard. Hey, Brent. And one of my sisters, Bo. So what do you think? She's doing great so far, huh? Doing well, doing well. Doing well. Look at you, you're, you're more nervous than she is. Uh, <laughs> good job, Rose. And you're in the National Guard as well? I am, I am. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Out of curiosity, Brent, how many push-ups can you do in two minutes? Well, less than her. Less than her. <laughs> I know, and look at you, you're just, you're not, you're, you're tiny, but. <laughs> Strong like bull. <laughs> this one's worth $10,000. You selected third grade measurements. Here is the $10,000 question. If Cody's baby sister is eight pounds, how many ounces does she weigh? If Cody's baby sister is eight pounds, how many ounces does she weigh? Sierra has locked in her answer. If Cody's baby sister is eight pounds, how many ounces does she weigh? Well, there's 16 ounces in one pound. So now I just have to do that math. I need more fingers. Um, six times eight. What is six times eight? Wait, wait, we can do five times eight and then we'll add one more. So five times eight is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 108. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, can I use a peak just so I can? Um, can sure, I if you would like to. Yeah, I would like to use a peak just so I can double check. Okay, I think that may not be a bad idea. How long were you in Iraq? Uh, I was in there for uh, 12 months. 12 months, only slightly longer than it took you to decide to use a peak. Uh, <laughs> I was actually enjoying watching you, <laughs> you. do the math. I mean, if I could that was entertaining. And it's, and it's very difficult when you don't have it, a it, piece of paper to work it out on. If you had had to come up with a number, what would your, what would your guess be? Um, 100 and, 108. Okay. No, wait. Let's see what your classmate, Sierra, said. Take a look at the board. Sierra said 128 oh. ounces. If Cody's baby sister is eight pounds, how many ounces does she weigh? She said 128. I'm gonna have to go, up. you know, I'm gonna go with my answer because then if hers is right, I'll hopefully have that saved. So I'm gonna say 108. So you're still in the game if one of your two answers is right. Either 108 or 128. I will tell you this. 108 is not right. If the answer is not 128, you are walking out of here with nothing. If Cody's baby sister is eight pounds, how many ounces does she weigh? The right answer is 128. That's what Sierra had. She's right. You got $10,000. There it is, 16 times eight is 128. Nice work, Sierra. Time to pick another classmate, guys. Nathan. Nathan, come on up here. You ever met an army sergeant before? No. It's pretty neat, isn't it? She doesn't look like my G.I. Joes. She doesn't look like your G.I. Joes? <laughs> no, not even close. 
This next question is very important because you get it right. You're leaving here with no less than $25,000, okay? <laughs> Time to pick another subject. You still have a second grade and a third grade question left. Second grade English. All right. The second grade English question worth $25,000 is, which of the following prefixes means again? Un, co, or re? Which of the following prefixes means again? Un, co, or re? Nathan has locked in his answer. Prefix comes before the word. Um, but which one means again? I don't believe it's un. I don't cross enough a un. But I re sounds good with repeat, redo. But that's just the first part of it. Copy or go with C, copy or go with C. Um, Jeff, I'm gonna go with C, Re. Repeat means to do again. You're right, you got $25,000. Rose, what are you going to do with $25,000? You know, I really want to get a pink Jeep Wrangler <laughs> with the camo interior, and then I could work oh, on it camo myself. camo interior. Yes, maybe get a suspension oh. lift or something. Suspension lift? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you should talk this way in front of the kids. Uh, we are halfway to the million dollar question, Rose. <laughs> You still have a copy left. Yeah. This next question, no reason not to answer it. It's the freebie on the board. You got 25 mm -hmm. grand, even if you miss it, you have 25 grand. Two fifth grade, two fourth grade, one third grade question. Pick a subject. You are brave. Uh, well, I got, my, I got my man right here. He's going to help me out. For $50,000, the fifth grade science question is going to be revealed when we come back. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Rose Maddie, has got $25,000. Ranger Barbie, for the $50,000 question, you selected fifth grade science, proving your bravery. You ready to see it? I'm ready, Jeff. All right. The $50,000 question is this. What is the lightest noble gas? What is the lightest noble gas? Nathan has locked in his answer. What is the lightest noble gas? Well, if I think back to chemistry. What do we know about gas? That it, it's in the air, it's light, it's. Clean air? You don't know my brother. <laughs> it's the other gas. Um, you know, I'm gonna think what they put in um, balloons. What is the lightest noble gas? The word noble is throwing me off because I don't know if that's a special section of gas. I'm gonna go, well, I'm gonna say helium, Jeff. I 
I was just about to tell you that you had your copy left, but you locked in with helium. If you had copied Nathan, you would have been right. If you had copied Nathan, you would have been correct because Nathan said, take a look at the board, Rose. Helia! <laughs> nice work, Nathan. Nice work, Rose. You've got $50,000. You have two classmates left. We're about to play for 100,000. Select another classmate. Mackenzie. Mackenzie. What do you think? She's doing pretty good, huh? I think she's doing really well. Yeah, really well. And she could do 96 push-ups in two minutes. Can you do the, the one-armed ones, too? Yes, but not in a dress. Not in a dress, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because she's a lady. Sergeant Rose, it's up to you. Oh, man. I'm scared of that spelling one. I don't even want to look because I can't spell. Uh, all right, we'll go with fourth grade world geography. Fourth grade world geography. For $100,000, the fourth grade world geography question is, Copenhagen is the capital of what European country? Copenhagen is the capital of what European country? Kenzie has locked in her answer. You ever been to Copenhagen? No, I have not been to, I've been, maybe I have and I don't remember. I've been to England, France, Italy, Austria, Germany. A lot of those are in Europe. Yes, they are, and that's why. We know this is a European country. And it, oh, this is tough. I'm a gambling girl, I like to go for it. I'm, uh, copy is tempting. If you had to guess, what would you guess? Oh, man. Um, well, it would definitely not be Italy, not England. Ooh, there's like Denmark and Sweden and all those. I didn't think of those. You know, oh, man. How's the, how's, oh, how's man. the military paying these days? <laughs> Decent. Decent. $50,000 an hour? Definitely not. I'm, I'm dropping out of school, Jeff. I'm dropping out. If you had to guess, you had a couple you were teetering on, mm -hmm. what would you have said? Sweden. Sweden. Sweden is absolutely wrong. <laughs> You had a moment where you had said the right answer. Oh. At one point, you said Denmark, which was the right answer. But that's okay. You have $50,000, Sergeant. Congratulations. <laughs> one piece of business left. And I know that you are a woman of your word. You made me a promise. Please tell millions of people. I, Rose Maddie, can do 96 push-ups in two minutes, but I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll be right back, right after this. So Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Are you guys ready to meet your new classmates? 
He is a 22-year-old cafe and catering owner from Dana Point, California. He attended John H. Malcolm Elementary. Welcome, Jordan Richie. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Jordan, how are you? What's up, Jeff? Welcome to the show, man. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Right on, right on. And I'm guessing this is Jordan Richie when you attended John H. Malcolm, That huh? is correct. That is me. What kind of student? Good student, bad student? I was a good student. You were a good, a good student. student. I worked yeah. hard to be a good student. Yeah, I know, because it says right here on the card that you started a food fight in the cafeteria and denied any involvement <laughs> until they looked at the security camera tape. That's correct. <laughs> Who knows they're being filmed, you know? Yeah, probably the tater tots in your hair that gave you away, right? That's right, that's right. Here's the good news. We have some very smart fifth graders here to help you out. They're going to be taking the same test you're taking, and we're going to let you cheat off of them. Pick one of them. Let's get started, Jordan. OK. I'm going to pick uh, Nathan. Nathan, come on up here. What's up, ma'am? Good to see you. You ever been involved in a food fight? No. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? Oh, lots of fun. you got to try that. Big mess, but a lot of fun. All right, Jordan, let me tell you how this test is going to work. On the board, you're going to see 10 subjects. If at any point the test proves to be too tough, you can drop out of school here. You can take the money that you've won. But before you leave here, one little thing you have to do for me. You have to look into that camera and tell the planet I am not smarter than a fifth grader. You got it. All right, we have a deal. Let's find out, is Jordan Ritchie smarter than a fifth grader? Subjects, Jordan, it's your choice. You know, let's go with, um, let's go with first grade animal science. First grade animal science, all right. For $1,000, Jordan, here's the first grade animal science question. True or false, male turtles can lay eggs. True or false, male turtles can lay eggs. Nathan has locked in his answer. What do you know about turtles? You have a catering business. You ever made turtle soup? I have never, ever made turtle soup in my life. Hmm. I'm thinking it's true. I'm not quite sure. Let me explain your cheats to you. You have a peek, which means you can peek at your classmates' answer, see if you like it. You've got a copy, which means you have to take the answer they've written down, and you have one save. Let's use a peak. You want to use a peak? Let's do it. You want to lock that in? Using a peak. Using a peak. All right. True or false, male turtles can lay eggs. Your classmate Nathan said false. OK. So good thing I didn't go with my answer. <laughs> OK. I'm going to go ahead and go with false then. Put my faith in you, big guy. Faith in you. Right, you right got a <laughs> Tell us who you got here rooting for you today. That is my beautiful family right there, mom and dad, Dave and Diane. Hey, mom and dad. Oh, Jordan. Now, now, mom, you looked very nervous during that last question. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> All right, well, it's nice to have that kind of confidence behind you, isn't it? <laughs> got $1,000. Let's double it right now, Jordan. Pick another subject. Thousand dollars is good right now. All right. I'm gonna go with uh, first grade world geography. First grade world geography. The two thousand dollar question is: Which ocean separates Africa from South America? Which ocean separates Africa from South America? Your classmate Nathan has locked in his answer. Okay, okay. Jordan, your mom's praying pretty hard. <laughs> All right. Which ocean separates Africa from South America? I think I'm gonna go with uh, Atlantic. Jordan. That's my answer. Take a look at the board. 
Which ocean separates Africa from South America? You said Atlantic. The correct answer is the Atlantic. You got $2,000. Tough one. That was a tough one right there. Still looks cool. Nice work, Nathan. Nathan's got to return to the classroom. Thank you very much. All right, time to pick another classmate, Jordan. Okay. You ready? You ready? Yeah. Toss a right here. Me and you. It's me and you. Yeah. All right. Eight subjects on the board. <laughs> Let's go ahead and say uh, third grade U.S. geography. Third grade U.S. geography. All right. All right. For five thousand dollars, the third grade question is. Iowa's southern border is with what other U.S. state? Iowa's southern border is with what other U.S. state? Iowa's southern border is with what other U.S. state? Your mom has her hands over her face. <laughs> <laughs> That's rad. All right. What other U.S. state? I'm gonna go ahead and say, let's use uh, the copy. And I lock in that answer. Lock in that answer. <laughs> if you had had a guess, do you have a guess? She's, no, not really. Let's see what the rest of the class said. Iowa's southern border is with what other U.S. state? The rest of the class said Missouri. Missouri. Hey, that was 100% right there. Some of them spell like I do. <laughs> what they said doesn't matter. That's true, actually. But they are all right. That's right. It is Missouri. You got it? But well, what did she say? That's right. Iowa southern borders with what other U.S. state? Sierra said. Missouri, you got $5,000. Yeah. There it is. A little bit further. The entire southern border. Good nice job. job, Sierra. We're going to be playing for $10,000 when we come back. Don't go away. Right on. Smarter than a fifth grader. Our contestant, Jordan Rich, has got $5,000. We're about to play for 10. Seven questions separate you and a million dollars. That's right. It is time to pick another subject, Jordan. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna go with, uh, third grade music. Third grade music. Listen carefully, Jordan. Yes. The third grade music question worth $10,000 is, which is a term for three or more musical pitches sounded simultaneously? Chord, chorus, or octave? Which is a term for three or more musical pitches sounded simultaneously? Chord, chorus, or octave? Sierra has locked in her answer. That says on the card you play guitar, right? That's correct. I would think this would be a gimme. That's where I'm going here. See, a chord is single, or it can be playing a chord. A chorus, normally mid part or the ending of a song, so that could be three or more. An octave, that's definitely also, I think it's B or C. B or C is what I'm feeling. I'm gonna have to go with, I think I'm gonna go with uh, octave. You wanna lock that in? Gonna lock that in. Hopefully I'm right, hopefully I'm right. Well, Jordan, it took a little while to get there, but octave is absolutely not right. Uh. Chandler, what'd you say? Chord. It is a chord. Is it? 
It is. It is a chord. Mr. Guitar Player. That's right. If Sierra said chord, you have got $10,000. If she did not, you walk out of here with nothing. For $10,000, Sierra said chord. You rock. You rock. You rock. That's right. That's good. Way to go, Sierra. $10,000. Too bad I didn't know the answer to that. I could have gone further. Good job. All right. Woo, yeah, $10,000. All right, Jordan, you have answered four questions. It's taken you a copy, a peek, and a save to do that. That's right. Your classmates can no longer help you. It's just you. Six questions between us and the million dollars. I have a feeling I'm going to have a beard before we get there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm either gonna take it up a notch and let's go real tough to fifth grade world history or, or second grade science. You're asking me? I'd stay as close to the bottom as we could get, right? No, you know, I don't know. I'm a history buff, I love history. Love history. I'm gonna go fifth grade world history. Fifth grade world history. All right, Jordan, we struggled in the first grade. We struggled in the third grade. So the logical thing to do is let's jump to the fifth grade. That's right. <laughs> oh, I'm scared to ask this. For $25,000, the fifth grade world history question is going to be revealed when we come back. Grader. Our contestant, Jordan Rich, has got $10,000. We are playing for $25,000. The fifth grade world history question is, what Spanish conquistador conquered the Inca Empire of Peru and later founded the city of Lima? What Spanish conquistador conquered the Inca Empire of Peru and later founded the city of Lima? Good night, everybody. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lay on the desk and take a nap, all right? Pull up a pillow and some sheets, because this is going to take a while right here. Is your mom a religious woman? Yes, she is. I can tell because she is praying again. <laughs> I want to say Cortez, but... All right, here's your options, Jordan. Shoot. You can drop out with $10,000 right now. Because you answer this question incorrectly, you're going home with nothing. We don't have a copy left. We don't have a peak left. We don't have a save left. We don't have a classmate. It's just you and the Spanish conquistadors. Cortez. I want to say Cortez, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Very, very, very interesting. Probably going to have to say... What do I say? I think I'm going to have to say... Let's leave with something. I'm going to go ahead and drop out of school. Lock that in. Lock on. Leave us something right here. But if it is Cortez, I'm going to be very mad. Get ready to be mad. Ah. Uh, don't not, tell me. Don't tell me. That no, was right. it's not Cortez. All right, good. I'm messing with you. You did the right thing. Yes. If you had had to guess, you would have said Cortez. I would have said Cortez. You would have been absolutely wrong. Oh. It is Francisco Pizarro. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, come on. Anyone know that? Actually, three of the five kids got it right. But you're walking out of here with $10,000. $10, That's not Congratulations. bad. Congratulations. That's not bad. Better than nothing, right? Yeah, absolutely. Remember our deal? Now, there's right. the camera. That's Tell right. the world. My name is Jordan Ritchie, and I'm humbled to say I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.
chance to win one million dollars. All they have to do is prove that they're smarter than a fifth grader. It's that easy. And this is our class, Marky. Classmates. Yeah! He is a 35-year-old U.S. Marine Corps captain. He attended Peace River Elementary in Port Charlotte. Welcome, Robert Rudder. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, good to see you. Hi, Robert. Hey, How great, are you? Great to see Welcome you. to the show. Thank you. Now, this I, I'm guessing is when you attended Peace River Elementary. Yes, it is. What's different? Uh, well, yeah, you look exactly the same except for the hair. I got a little taller. Yeah, a little taller. <laughs> what kind of student were you? Wasn't so good in elementary school, Jack. Really? <laughs> but it says here in college you had what, like a, a 3.9 GPA? Yes. Majoring in? Uh, management information systems. So you've got information inside. We may be giving away a million dollars today, everybody. Be nice. And your dad. He was a scientist, right? That's correct. What, what type? He was an entomologist, an insect guy, a bug okay. guy. Well, it's going <laughs> to bug him if you don't win a little money That's today. <laughs> These are your classmates. They're going to be taking the same quiz that you're taking. During the course of the quiz, I'm going to actually let you cheat off of them. We'll tell you a little bit about that later on. But right now, pick one of them. Let's get started. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with Kyle today. Kyle, come on up here. All right. How are you, Kyle? I'm doing good. All right, let me tell you, Robert, how this works. On the board, you're gonna see 10 questions. They range from first grade through the fifth grade. You can choose them in any order you like. The first correct answer is worth $1,000. The 10th one will be worth $500,000. You answer all these correctly, we're gonna give you an 11th question. It's a grade school question. It will be worth $1 million. Woo! If at any point this gets to be too difficult, and you're a Marine Corps captain, I cannot imagine that this would be too difficult. But if it does, you may drop out of school, you can take the money you've earned, and you can run. But before you go, you have to look into the camera and tell the world, I am not smarter than a fifth grader, all right? All right. Of course, you're a Marine. If you don't want to do that, that's okay, too. So let's find out, is Robert Rudder smarter than a fifth grader? Select your first subject. I first would like to ask Kyle what his uh, strength is. Social studies, science, geography, and history. Geography, history, and social studies, he said. And science. And, science. and science. In that case, let's go ahead and start with first grade social studies. First grade social studies. <laughs> Robert, for $1,000, the question is, what is the only U.S. national holiday that always falls on a Thursday? What's the only U.S. national holiday that always falls on a Thursday? Your classmate Kyle has locked in. What are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking that uh, I, I might know this because it's one of my favorite holidays. I'm a big fan of eating. <laughs> so, uh, Me too. I'm, guess, uh, I'm thinking that uh, in this case that that holiday may be Thanksgiving, and I'm going to say Thanksgiving. thought if I was a burglar, that would be the best day of the year because you could just walk into people's <laughs> houses if, if it's like our family and people are just sitting around. You can't even get up to stop them, you know? You could just take stuff and leave. You said the only U.S. national holiday that always falls on a Thursday is Thanksgiving. Sir, yes, sir. You got $1,000. All right. See how easy it is? I like this. <laughs> All right, Robert, you got a thousand. Let's double it. Let's play for two thousand. Select another subject. Let's go ahead and go with first grade math. First grade math. The two thousand dollar question is: True or false? 
The sum of two whole numbers is always another whole number. True or false, the sum of two whole numbers is always another whole number. Robert, I told you during the course of the test that you could cheat off your classmates. Let me explain real quickly how that works. You have a peek, which means once during the game, you can peek at your classmates' paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it. If you don't like it, you can go with your own. Okay. You have a copy, which means you may copy their paper, but you have to take what they've written down. Okay. And you have one save, which means if you answer incorrectly, but they answer correctly, they save you, you get the money, we keep on rolling, okay? Okay. Kyle has locked in his answer. What you thinking? Well, I'm thinking that if the two numbers that are added into it are whole numbers, then it would have to be a whole number. So. That's what you're thinking? Now, you, you don't seem real confident about it, though, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is simple arithmetic, so I'm going to say that it is, that it's true, that it would be a whole number. All right, Robert, let's see what your classmate Kyle said. Kyle said, true. He can't save you, but he doesn't need to, because you're right, Woo! you got $2,000. Right. Nice work, Kyle. Thanks, Kyle. Good man. All right. So, Robert, it says here, you've, you've already done two tours in Iraq? Yes. You know what? From the bottom of my heart, and I don't care where anybody stands on this war, not, you are a true American hero. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You and people like you are the reason we get to do this, so thank, thank you. you. You got $2,000. I want to see you be the first millionaire on the show. That makes two of us. <laughs> Pick another classmate. Let's keep playing. I'm going to go with Alana. Alana, come on up here. All right. I know you brought your family here today. You want to introduce them to everybody? Yes, uh, the one on the right is my wife. That's Vicki. Hi, Vicki. And then my son, Robbie, is in the middle. Hi, Robbie. And my daughter, Caitlin, is on the left. How old is your daughter? She's 13. 13, so you've already been through the fifth grade. How do you think your dad's going to do on this test today? Good. And I got to say, 13, so she's going to be dating in a few years. I would hate to have to go out with a girl whose dad knows 50 ways to inflict pain without leaving a mark. I hope so. Yeah, you hope so. <laughs> All right, well, good luck. You have a beautiful family. Thank Pick you. another subject. Let's keep going. All right, Alana, what are you good at? Geography and... Geography? She said geography and animal science, which are both third grade questions, Robert. What do yeah, you think? I don't know if I'm quite ready for third grade yet, so <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go with second grade English first. Second grade English. All right, here is the $5,000 question. How many adjectives are in the following sentence? Spencer takes good care of his hairy dog. <laughs> How many adjectives are in the following sentence? Spencer takes good care of his hairy dog. Alana has locked in her answer. What are you thinking, Robert? Well, <laughs> I'm thinking I know this one. I think that uh, good and hairy are adjectives, so I'm going to say that there are two adjectives in that sentence. I'm a little bit leery of you answering any question where Harry is the answer, all right? <laughs> you say two, good and Harry. Let's see what Spencer had to say. Spencer said, two, my dog is hairy and fat. <laughs> Guess yes. what, Spencer? My brother's hairy and fat. <laughs> <laughs> but the important part of that was two, which is right. You've got $5,000, Robert. All right, we're moving up the ladder. Pick another subject. Let's go for 10 grand. 
I think I'm gonna go with Alana and we're gonna go third grade animal science. Third grade animal science. Tackling those eight-year-old questions <laughs> now. Our $10,000 question is coming up right after this. <laughs> fifth grader. Our contestant, U.S. Marine Corps Captain Robert Rudder has $5,000. We're playing for $10,000. You have selected third grade animal science. Robert, the $10,000 question is, what is the last stage that a butterfly goes through before it becomes an adult? Pupa, larva, or egg? What is the last stage that a butterfly goes through before it becomes an adult? Pupa, larva, or an egg? Alana has locked in her answer. You said your dad was a bug scientist. Yes, I did. <laughs> Entomologist. You better get this one right. If I miss this one, he's gonna kill me, so I Though gotta I gotta go. tell you, I'm stumped because I was looking for puberty to be one of the things. <laughs> And it's not up there. <laughs> Let me remind you, Robert, you haven't used either one of your cheats. You still have your peek. You still have your copy. You still have your save. What you thinking, Robert? I'm thinking it's the, uh, the pupa, and I'm going to say pupa. Whoa. <laughs> what you thinking, family? You like that answer? I think he knows this one. You think he knows this one? You're right, he's got $10,000. <laughs> Alana has to return to the classroom because oh. they can only help you two questions at a time. She was right on that one, by the way. In fact, the whole class Thank was you, Alana. right on that one. <laughs> Thank you. Before you select another classmate, I have to ask you, if you win big today, what are you gonna do with the money? Uh, there's a couple things I've gotta do, Jeff. Uh, when I have to get my son a new video game system. <laughs> I've been telling him right, when I have more I'm gonna money. I'm going to be working for you, okay, buddy? <laughs> and uh, something else, i got to take my family on vacation to Florida. I've been stationed in Japan for a few years before we came here, so they haven't seen their family in a few years. So oh, I gotta man, that's to awesome. All right. We're going to see if we can't make that happen. All right, well, you got $10,000. we are playing for twenty-five. Pick another classmate. All right, Jacob. All right. This next question is a biggie, because up until this point, if you had flunked out, you would have left here with nothing. You get this one right, the worst thing that could happen is you're leaving here with $25,000, all right? <laughs> Let me ask Jacob, out of the questions remaining on the board, which subjects would you say are your two favorite? Two favorite? Ah. Uh... Probably life science and uh, U.S. history. Life science and U.S. history, both fourth grade questions. What do you think, Robert? Whoa. I'm gonna go with fourth grade life science. Fourth grade life science. Robert, the $25,000 question is, Muscles are attached to bones by which of the following? Ligaments, tendons, or marrow? Muscles are attached to bones by which of the following? Ligaments, tendons, or marrow? Jacob has locked in his answer. All right, Mr. 3.9. <laughs> well. Marines have muscles, we know this. Do we know what attaches them to bones? I'll tell you, the Marines have actually prepared me for this because I've torn one of my ligaments. So I, 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 do, know, uh, I do know what this one is, and I'm going to say that it is B, tendons. The Marines have served you well, Semper Fi. You got $25,000. That is right, tendons attach muscle to bone. Somebody's getting a new video game system. 
You've got $25,000, Robert. This next question, my favorite question on the ladder, because the worst thing that can happen is you leave here with $25,000, which you have already. It's almost the free question. It's the no-brainer. Pick a subject, and let's go win $50,000. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to go with the one I don't know, which is second grade cultural studies. Second grade cultural studies. The $50,000 question is, the leaf of what tree is on the Canadian national flag? The leaf of what tree is on the Canadian national flag? Jacob has locked in his answer. How you feeling? I feel good about this one. It'll probably be the one I missed, but I feel good about it. <laughs> You've seen a lot of flags. Yes. Can you picture the Canadian flag? Yes, I can. And what is on it? I think it is the maple. <laughs> you think? It's the maple. <laughs> I can picture it, and I've watched hockey. For some reason, the, the maple leaf keeps coming into my head, so. Now, a maple leaf and an oak leaf look very, very similar, right? Yes. Thank goodness the Canadian flag doesn't have an oak leaf. It's a maple leaf. You got $50,000. That's what Jacob had. That's what the entire class had. Jacob, you got to return to the classroom. Nice work, buddy. Thanks, Jacob. All right, Robert, let's pick another classmate. We're going to go with Marky. Marky, come on up here. Hello, Marky. All right. How are you? <laughs> Good. He's doing well, isn't he? Yes. He's kind of settled in. You've kind of, you've kind of gotten into a groove here, We're gonna Robert. make him a millionaire. We're gonna make That's him a right. millionaire, okay. Look at this. The quiz started with 10 questions. We only have four of them left now. This next question is worth $100,000. All right, Robert, pick a subject. All right, Marky, what are, your, what are you good at? Um, geography. She says world geography. What do you think, Robert? History. I don't know. She didn't sound too, too sure on that one. Uh, this is really the easy part of the game. Uh, <laughs> stressful part. OK, you let's You still have go. all your cheats, too. You have your copy, your peak, your save. You're in great shape. All right. Let's go ahead and go with third grade world geography. Third grade world geography. Robert, the $100,000 question is coming up right after this. Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, United States Marine Corps Captain Robert Rudder, has got $50,000. He has selected third grade world geography for his $100,000 question. Robert, here is the question. The Ganges River flows through Bangladesh and what other country? The Ganges River flows through Bangladesh and what other country? Your classmate Marky has locked in her answer. Now, as a Marine, you've probably been around the world a little bit, right? I've been around, yes. Okay. Have you ever been to the Ganges River? No, I haven't. It's beautiful this time of year. <laughs> Let me remind you, before you answer, you have both of your cheats left. You could peek at Marky's paper, which means if you like her answer, you could use it. You could copy her paper, which means you must take her answer, or if you think you had a guess and you're wrong and she's right, she could save you, okay? Or you could walk away with $50,000 right now. I think I'm going to peek at her paper on this one. This 
guy is a Marine. Not scared of anything in the world, except the third grade question. That's right. <laughs> and now he's asking for help from a 10-year-old girl. You want to peek at Markey's paper. The Ganges River flows through Bangladesh and what other country? Do you have any ideas going through your head before we show you what Markey wrote? Uh, nothing I'd be willing to say out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what Markey said. She said the Ganges River flows through Bangladesh and India. Any bells ringing now? A little bit, yes, actually. Uh, that was one that was going through my mind, but didn't want to say it until at least now I got somebody else saying it too. So. <laughs> but I think she's right. I've got faith in her. This is her good subject, so I'm going to say India. Robert? I bet in the course of your career, you helped a lot of people, right? Yes. Well, a 10-year-old girl just helped you. You've got $100,000. Thank you. Woo! Robert, you've got $100,000. Wow. That says here on your card that if you won the million, that you might buy yourself a fishing boat. Oh, that's correct. We're getting into that territory right now. This next question is worth $175,000. It's a lot of money. Robert, let's make it happen right now, okay? Pick a subject, let's win $175,000. I'm gonna go with fifth grade measurements because that's what my partner wants and that's fifth what I like. Fifth grade measurements. <laughs> Let's listen to the question carefully before you answer, okay? The $175,000 question is, how many watts are used during one kilowatt hour? How many watts are used during one kilowatt hour. Your classmate has just locked in. <laughs> you like that? Yes, I do. That was fast. Fast is good. Yes, I hope. <laughs> in some things. <laughs> some things not so good. <laughs> what you thinking, Robert? Well, I'm thinking uh, the metric system is a uh, well, all based on tens, and since kilo is a thousand, thousand watts, I'm just gonna have to say that it's 1,000 watts used in one kilowatt hour. Guess what, Robert? You just won $175,000. <laughs> Marky, very you, nice Marky. work. You we'll be me. back playing for $300,000 right after this. <laughs> Welcome back to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Our contestant, Robert Rudder, a Marine Corps captain, has got $175,000. We're about to play for $300,000. You could be our very first millionaire on this show. <laughs> You're down to your last classmate, Spencer. Right, Spencer. Come on up here. Come on, Spencer. <laughs> how are you, buddy? Good. Are you getting nervous? Yeah, no me pressure. too. No pressure. Oh, you know how earlier you were saying he could be our next millionaire? Right. It's not could be, it's going to be. He's going to be. That's right. I like that. You know what? Because I, I, I think everybody in here, we are so grateful 
for everybody in the military and what they do. It would be very cool to see you be the first millionaire on this show. Yes, it would. <laughs> you only have two questions left. You got $175,000, real money. You may see the question and still walk away, okay? Okay. So pick which subject you like the best. Let's at least see the question. Talk to me. Well, I think that since fifth grade, U.S. history is the hardest, you should go for fifth grade and then go for the easier one. He's saying he thinks the fifth grade question would be harder, so why don't you go for the hard one and save the easier one for the half a million dollar question? But that's just what he says. All what right. you think, Robert? I'm gonna go with fifth grade U.S. history. Here is the $300,000 question. Who was the only person to be elected U.S. president four times? Who was the only person to be elected U.S. president four times. Your classmate Spencer has locked in his answer. Are you good with presidents? I'm good with presidents. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of reason to hopefully be good with presidents. There's one person that's standing out in my mind right now. Whew. Reasonably certain on this. You look like you got a little cotton mouth, <laughs> which normally happens around $300,000. Yes. yes, it does. <laughs> you have your save left, too. Yes. Spencer answered quickly. Yes, he did. What's going through your mind? I know it's a lot. It's a long way to go if I don't get it right, but I'm reasonably sure, and if I'm not, I think my partner is reasonably sure. So I'm gonna say Roosevelt. Yeah. Hi, Robert, I need a first name, because there was more than one Roosevelt as a president. Theodore. Robert, remember when I said you could have walked out of here with $175,000? Yes. And you said you were reasonably sure you knew the answer. And you said Roosevelt. Yes. And I said, which Roosevelt? And you said Theodore. Let's see what the class said. The class said, there's one Teddy and three Franklins. The right answer is Franklin Roosevelt. Oh. So you were wrong. Yes, I was. The only way you're still in the game is if this 10-year-old kid saves you. Otherwise, you walk out of here with $25,000. You drop down from 175 to 25. Yes. I can see your heart beating through that stack of metals right yes. there. What you thinking? I think Spencer's got it. You think Spencer's got it. <laughs> All right, Spencer. Robert, look at the board. Spencer, Spencer said. Spencer, Spencer. We're going to find out right oh. after this. Our contestant, Marine Corps Captain Robert Rudder, has $175,000. The $300,000 question was who was the only person to be elected U.S. President four times? You said Theodore Roosevelt. I told you that was incorrect. The correct answer is Franklin Roosevelt. The only hope you have of not dropping down to $25,000 rests with Spencer. Look at the board, Robert. Spencer said,
Franklin Roosevelt! Oh, you're the man! <laughs> nice job, buddy. We started with 10 questions. How many do you see up there, Robert? One question. One question left. Fourth grade world history. Robert, I want to hear you say it. How much is this question worth? $500,000. <laughs> This is you, the question, and Spencer. You have your copy left. Listen carefully. Don't answer too quickly. The $500,000 question is, Ivan the Terrible was a czar of what country? <clears throat> Ivan the Terrible was a czar of what country? Spencer has locked in his answer. I think I know this one. You think you know this one. Uh, Spencer has saved me once, so I'm going to let him off the hook. You don't have your save left. You know that. I understand. Ah, <sighs> can I sit down for a minute? <laughs> Robert, what, what is going through your head right now? Well, he's Ivan. Uh, <laughs> He's a czar, and the only country that I know of out there that had czars was Russia. So I'm feeling pretty strongly that that, that was the country. Now, am I feeling $275,000 strong? <sighs> only you know that. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> I know Ivan the not-so-bad was from somewhere in Europe, but... <laughs> You look like you're about to pass out. What do they tell you in the Marines? You gotta flex those knees That's a little right. bit, right? Don't lock the knees, don't lock the knees. Don't lock the knees. That's real money. That's real money. <laughs> you have $300,000 right now. I don't know your personality, are you a gambling man? I am not a gambling man, but at the same time, I have faith in myself. I am confident I'm going to say Russia. <laughs> Just because he's confident doesn't mean he's right. <laughs> Think about this. Where else do they have czars? Um, I don't know. Before it was called Russia, what was it called? Your guess is as good as mine on that one, Jeff. <laughs> you know well, what, Robert? It doesn't matter what it was called because the answer is Russia. You got before you walked in here today, that you would be sitting one question away from one million dollars. I hoped I would. I hoped I would. We are going to be playing for one million dollars right after this. Our contestant, Marine Corps Captain.
question. Robert Rudder has $500,000. Are you folks ready to see somebody win a million dollars? All right. Let me explain how this works. I need total silence from the audience. The million dollar question, unlike any other question on the test, once you ask to see the question, you must answer it. You cannot see the question and then decide to go home, okay? If you asked to see the question, you must answer it. We will show you the subject, but once you ask to see the question, there's no turning back. Right now, you have $500,000. Robert, if you answer this question incorrectly, you drop down to $25,000. You get it right, you're a millionaire. Okay? The million dollar question is always a fifth grade question. Do you want to see the subject? I'd like to see the subject. The subject of the million dollar question is world history. <clears throat> Please don't hit any buttons yet. What you thinking, Robert? I don't, I don't know. Good. I, I know we struggled a little bit on one of the earlier history questions. Was history a good subject for you or a bad subject? Well. It's a big place. <laughs> uh, it is a big place. I think I've used my, uh, I think I've worn out my luck on that one, but. Uh, and with the million dollar question, your classmates can't help you, you can't use a cheat, it's just you. <clears throat> no, I told myself that when I got to this point, there were two uh, categories that I would go on, and world history is not one of them. <laughs> you know, math or grammar, I think I'd have been all right, but. World history, I don't think world history is worth $475,000 for me. So I think I'm gonna drop out of school with $500,000. I... Thank you, guys. I am so tickled for you. See, that's, that's like you got to know when to hold them, know when to fold them. You said it wasn't one of your best subjects. You're walking out of here with $500,000. <laughs> Just for fun, do you want to see the million dollar question? I'd like to see it, yes. The million dollar question is, which Frenchman was the first European explorer to navigate the St. Lawrence River in Canada? Which <laughs> Frenchman was the first European explorer to navigate the St. Lawrence River in Canada? I, I don't have the faintest idea. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you yeah. dropped out of school. The answer is Jacques Cartier. Jacques Cartier didn't have $500,000, but you do. <laughs> and you know our little deal at the beginning. I think you're happy to say this, aren't you? Go ahead, Robert. I'm Robert Rudder. I'm a captain in the United States Marine Corps, but today I am not smarter than a fifth grader. We'll see you next time. Take care.